Hello there guys, my name is Jag and Peter Wolf and welcome back to another map spotlight on space engineers. So what am I looking at today? Well, I'm looking at something called the asteroid base, which seems really simple in theory. But uh, it came out in like September sometime, I think it was the 24th. And since the modding was enabled with the game, it's been added to. So this is it. Now it's by a guy called Telnet and basically he's built this base that is really intricate and detailed and again with the use of the mods it makes the whole thing just loads loads better so we start off on this sort of main hangar area where you can land your ships and stuff gravity sort of conks out over there but you've got this sort of area where you can you know tend to your ships on the deck and you've got this room in here now I haven't actually been all the way through this area so I may come to some surprises of my own. So you've actually got some viewing areas in here and like a like a forward viewing area where you can see what's going on on the connectors and whatnot and control them. There's a staircase going down which I never noticed there was. Um, so we've got cargo containers coming down here. There's lovely walkways which are nicely lit with the green lights. Um, when we come out of here we've got cargo containers again. Now we've got a staircase going up and we've got this going across. Where does this take us? Oh wow, that seems important. So you've got like a, a nice control area here with some monitors and some semi-built stuff. I'm wondering what they actually are. There's a few like semi-built things that is actually used and dismantled to give that effect of, you know, looking really cool. And you've got the battery cells down here, so this is where they have all the batteries for power. And you've got like the nice um, little activation panels and things here as well. So. We come through that door, we're just going to shut that, and we go up. Now, this actually takes us into the, the hangar bay, which is kind of cool. So, we've got these large, we've got two of these, I believe. We've got, like, um, a normal sort of parking. I believe this is, um, we got two, okay. So, you've got, like, areas of storage around here, and then you've got this sort of repair bay around here as well. And just a sort of... Um, you know, like a tools area where there's like um, pre-built tools and things like that. And they look kind of nice with the different colours and everything. It, it adds to it. So, we can actually open a lot of the doors in here. Uh, so I suspect this door can be opened via a control -y thing, which I believe this is it. There we go, look at that. So it's actually got like a nice repair bay. This is actually number three. Um, well, coming through here, this actually takes you back outside where you've got more hangar areas. I'm actually going to open them all up now. I'm unsure how this grinding thing works. I'm hoping it works by pistons or is it just... Yes, yeah, so the whole platform is basically pressed down on pi on a piston so it repairs the ship. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we've also got the doors here that open. We've also got lights as well. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh wow. So we've actually got them to blink. What? So it's actually got the lights to blink, so it's like a landing area. That is pretty cool. So we've got this area here, and again, all these walkways are completely accessible via, you know, just walking up the stairs and stuff. And you've got like, uh, cargo here, all the way across this side, some refineries down the bottom, so this is more like your refining area. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And we've got the med bay up here, which I didn't spot. So we've actually got these nice door windows which were added in. Um, now these these are actually unfinished at the moment, I believe. That takes us out to there again. This is where you would expect um, sort of beds to be and stuff. So I think you may add a, like the bed mod in and stuff. And oh wow, look at this! That is beautiful. This lovely little bridge area which we'll come back to in a second once we've uh, gone through everything else on this deck, on the bottom deck. So. We've opened that, that door, we've opened that door. What's this? Now we've got some ejector points that I'm hoping maybe eject weapons and things like that. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, cool. And we've got the assembling area, so I think that just assembles the finished goods that you actually require. And we're back into this room, we've already opened that door, so we've gone in pretty much a full circle here. We actually come through here and we've got another door, so if we just want to activate that. The doors come down really nicely and everything just works. 
which is nice to see because when things use pistons and stuff sometimes it just doesn't work out and I like how he's actually named the bays and kept some sort of conformity to them so this one's bay O2F because this is the front and then I'm guessing the O2B is at back bay oh rear okay so you got front and rear so you got O2R and O2F and then you got like your bay 3 and again it looks awesome the way he's got it and it's just the way it's been planned out it's just sick so if we head back up to that room um, if we can figure out how um, there was like a walkway wasn't there here we go so if we head back up here and go to the very end of this corridor we get back to the windowed area so you can see all the ships down there that are like little mining and little helper ships but I believe this does this shut down the windows oh wow that to me makes it how he's got blast doors that's just beautiful so we've actually got like um, a main control area here where the controllers can tell the ships to land or not and warn off enemy fighters and just oh wow look at this and I like the blue lighting because it makes it a bit more how it should be because they have like darker lighting moodier, moodier lighting to, to sort of help you see in the dark and things like that which is kind of cool so that is really really nicely done and this whole place is just wonderful it's it's just wonderful can we get down this way indeed we can so it's just got stairways going down here and then we can jump out here and we're back on the main deck so that was really nice it's very it flows really well and looks really nice with the color scheme I know some people probably think well orange and orange green and grey don't look right together but to me they look perfect so we've got this here what's this pad 01 so he's actually named the pads as well to allow you to um, direct people into whichever pads they need to and he's, uh, he's got these lovely mining ships which I'm guessing are drone controlled I'm guessing anyway they don't seem to have a cockpit so I'm I'm most definitely guessing they're drone controlled so these ships can be taken that well that one anyway the miner can be taken out and just mine away without anyone being in it which is cool and he's got this little carrier ship it just I think it's just purely designed to carry a lot of the crap. And you've got a little tugboat here, which again it's got some storage space, which is kinda cool. You always need a tugboat. You got a grinding ship for scrappage. Oh hello, and I've just lost gravity again. And then you've also got another mining ship which is a manned one. Now, there isn't actually a repair ship anywhere around here, which is kind of different. I kind of expect a repair ship as well, but maybe that's because I don't know. Either way, you've got a lot, a lot of things to look at around this place, and this is just your main sort of storage area where I'm guessing you can throw a lot of things in there, and you can, you know, that will all link up into the main base. So that's that. Now, is there any more to this? Yes, there is. We've got Pad Four, which I've only just realised exists. Holy crap! So. If we come through bay 1, can we get to the bay 4? If we f float up here and drop down, what's that say? D26. Oh, wow. Oh, no. He's got a mining platform here as well. That is just awesome. He's even got the controls. And it's like it's moved down to get there. Oh things like this just make me me sort of happy inside thank thank you for this <laughs> it's beautiful so if we turn the lights on what's that one do oh wow and open the doors where does this one take us oh right i thought this was going to be some sort of um hanger but it, it it actually isn't it's where you can deposit stuff so all the connectors you uh, well all the um, ejectors and stuff you can basically just throw all your stuff in here and it will guarantee to land on on something to pick it up and take it away. Oh, that's really, really cool. So, on a whole, I'll give this this solid 50 million out of 10 in my books. That is just awesome. So, again, if you guys want to go and check this out, the link will be in the description. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little walk around of the asteroid base by Telnet. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>